Gentlemen, welcome to the future cars of Bean and J. That was a fatal chair accident. I actually... I was supposed to die, but... Not the crap. But anyways, today I will be talking about the cars we could potentially see in BeamNG's future. Or in other words, the cars I want to see right fucking now. So, I've split everything into six... Six different categories. And at the very end, I'll tell you what you want to see. Yes. Basically, I asked the three of you who actually follow me on Twitter what vehicles you would like to see in BeamNG, and... Yeah. So, let's start with the first category of vehicles. Of which I want to see absolutely none. I've honestly become sick of seeing new off-roaders in BBNG. It all started a year ago with 0 0.27 and... Man, it's just been off-roaders, 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 off-roaders. <laughs> I'd say we have enough, right? Yeah, BBNG off-roader sickness is real and... It has to stop devs. Now, please. Really. Now, with that off my chest, let's finally start talking about new vehicles. Starting off with... Now, there's almost an endless variety of racing series, but the one I would love to see most is Formula 1. We already have a pretty good mod, which is the Carbon Works F4 by Lucas B. And even though it's really, like, really good quality, it still doesn't feel like dev material. Plus, it's Formula 4, which is kind of slow, Formula 1 would be majestic. Especially with proper engines like the V8 and V10 era. Now the second racing series I would love to see most is NASCAR. NASCAR is actually one of my least favorite racing series. Come on, man, you're just turning in a fucking circle, bro. But in Beam G, with them crashing physics, bro, it would be perfect. It's literally a match made in heaven. But NASCAR isn't the only series where we have an insane number of fatalities. Let me introduce you to Group C. I've always found Group C cars fascinating. Like, they took the rule book and literally sh I don't think you understand how utterly insane Group C racing was. Monstrous power, insane aerodynamics, and quite a few crashes. And the last series of vehicles I would love to see in BMG is LMP1, LMDH, all that Le Mans bullshit. After that 24 hour race, I did a wall back and from which I'm still recovering. I believe that with dev made vehicles instead of automation shit boxes, the amount of stuff that could go wrong with the cars would make it so much more painful. And I'm all for it. Now, I think there is a reason why we haven't seen that many race cars in BMG. And I think that is because of the tire physics, which suck. And for me, that is pretty much all I want to see from race cars. But before I move on to the next category, let me know in the comments if there's something else you would like to see. So, the next category. Starting with Porsche 911 and 718 equivalents. But to me, they're not supercars. Shut the fuck. If you think about it, apart from the SBR4, which is kind of a goofy vehicle in itself, we don't have any rear engine sports car, you know? So the Porsches would be very much appreciated. What we're also missing is a modern hypercar. Yes, we have the Civetta Scintilla, but that's more of a supercar, you know? We need the step above, something crazy. And talking about Civetta, we don't have anything in between the Scintilla and the body. I'm talking Ferrari 430 and Ferrari 430. Another type of supercar that I would love to see in BMG is something with a crazy engine note. And the first thing that comes to mind is the Lexus LFA. That way we have, you know, the crazy engine note, and we also have a front-engine supercar. But you know, supercars are kind of boring. You know what's better than supercars? And at the top of my list for regular cars is a European semi-truck. Now, based on the latest BMG spoiler, it does look like we will be getting a cab over truck, which is, you know, how every European truck is built. That being said, having all trucks be from supposedly Gabriel would be kind of... So having a European brand as a counterpart would be very nice. What would also be very nice and will actually pair perfectly with trucks is a metric f ton of trailers. I'm talking car carriers, log haulers, your mom. Now after trucks and trailers, I would love to see a modern take on the Fiat 500. 
We already have the Autobello Piccolina, but it's kind of old, come on. So having, you know, the modern Fiat 500 would be pretty nice. And you know, that would be the perfect car to make misogynist comments. Staying on the topic of shitty Italian cars, I would love, and I truly said, I would love to see Beam and G's interpretation of the Fiat Multipler. Alongside Walter White's car, the Fiat Multipler is quite possibly the ugliest four-wheeled object to ever exist. And I would love to crash it at 800 miles per hour. Now, staying on the topic of ugly cars, I would love to see a Toyota Prius. Now, first of all, we don't have any hybrid vehicles in BBG, and when the day eventually comes, it would just make sense to introduce them with a Toyota Prius. Plus, just like the Multipler, it's so ugly that it looks actually kind of good. I don't know what it is, but I like the Prius. Now, on the opposite end of something eco-friendly like the Toyota Prius, we would have something goofy like the V12 TDI Audi Q7. There is something about this car. I just want to drive it. Please, devs. Plus, since we don't have a modern or even European SUV for that matter, it would be perfect to fill in that spot while killing half the planet. Another good addition would be a luxury sedan, something with a massive grill like a Rolls Royce or a Maybach. And in the same price category, a plastic Indian shitbox like the Tata Nano. Driving these small, cheap-ass shitboxes at their limit is the most fun you'll ever have. And so, that is all for regular cars. But now, the last two categories is where it gets really interesting. Starting off with heavy <laughs> Ever since we got the quarry in West Coast, USA, I just want an excavator, man. I really do. Now, I could go on forever talking about construction equipment, but if I had to pick just one other vehicle other than the excavator, it would probably be one of those ass for roller thingies. I can already envision myself turning the ETK 800 series into a f***ing carpet. But you see, not all heavy machinery is necessary for construction. We also have other disciplines, such as farming. So devs, please, tractor. We have hay bales, soon I'll have, soon I'll have more trailers. Come on, man. tractor with the for forklifts. I almost forgot. We need a forklift, man. We really do. And finally, gentlemen, it is time for the last but best category. First of all, I would love to see one of those mega boxy food trucks. Imagine if you had, you know, bottles and whatever the f inside. Imagine crashing with that and seeing your number nine shooting into space. On the topic of boxy and extending vehicles, we have the RV. Something like the one from Breaking Bad or even Johnson Valley for that matter would be very, very sweet. Next up, golf carts. <laughs> the only reason I would want a golf cart is so that I can replicate one of the millions of videos where people get terribly injured while driving them. And finally, the last vehicle I would love to see in BMG is one of those Chinese electric micro trucks. Those were my personal picks. Now it is time to read yours. So first of all, we have Boeing 747-400. Bro, what the hell? A good looking modern car. So none. Bottle of water would be just fine. Planes for sure, with the amount of airports that this game has, it seems logical. That is right. That is, we have, we have a shit ton of airports. Ah yes, Volvos. But what's the fun in that? They, they simply do not deform. Something like a Renault Twingo. Yes. And finally, 